Okay, today we're going to look at when we have brackets and expanding with our algebra or pronumerals and things. So expansion means you need to put multiply, which we can say is like times, multiply everything inside the bracket with um, um, everything that's directly outside the bracket. So first of all, if we have a look here, they're asking us to expand. So expand means when you um, you get rid of the brackets. So when you have a five outside, it means that you actually got to times that x by five and also that um, three by five. So if you if we do that, we'd have five times x plus five times three. Now we can write. 5 times x is like 5x, and then 5 times 3 is 15. So there we expand. So with this next one, we got to times the 8 by the x, and also the 8 by the negative y. So I'm going to have 8x minus 8y. Okay, this last one, we got negative 2 times x, and negative 2 times negative 3. So if we wrote that out, so we'd have negative 2 times x minus um, negative 2 times negative 3. Alright, so we need to be careful here because when we have a negative times by a positive, we get a negative. And when we have um, two negatives multiplying, we get a positive. So we'll end up with plus, sorry, plus 6 for that one so just have a remember that you might need to remember that a negative multiplied by a positive gives a negative and a negative multiplied by a negative gives a positive okay all right let's move over to this one so when we have the letters we still do the same but we need we will have x so this first step it'll be x times 2x and then we're gonna have um, plus x times negative 3y. So when you have um, x times x, that actually, we write that as x squared, okay? So if you had x times x times x, that would be x cubed. All right, so here, when we have x times 2x, you just multiply the numbers, so we assume there's a 1 there. So 1 times 2 is 2, so we've got 2x squared, because we've got the x by the x. Then we've got, we have to be careful, like I said before, we have here a positive by a negative. So that's like over here, we had a positive, negative and a positive, gave a negative. So we're going to have a negative this time. And it'll be x times negative 3y, so we'll have 3xy, because we can't do anything like together. All right, so then let's have a look at this one. When they say expand, so with this one, you only ever have to expand what's directly next to the bracket. So this 4 has to multiply with that x and that negative 4. This plus 5 is a separate bit. So you just do that separately. So we've got 4 times x which is 4x, and then we've got 4 times negative 4, so that would be positive 4 times a negative 4. It's going to give a negative answer, which would be negative 16, then plus 5. Once you've done that, and we've expanded that, we like to group like terms. So we probably want to group like terms. So if we had like terms, we'll group them. So here... These numbers are like terms, so we can do that. So we've got negative 16 plus 5 would give me negative 11. So therefore, that's my final answer for that one.